Hello, uh, good morning. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for trading session Tuesday, the 6th of March 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and Market Updates from the leading providers. You can download the app at www.tradesignal.com and you can certainly download it at the Google app and the uh, Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so uh, in terms of stats this morning, Asian markets certainly resurging. It certainly seems like they've forgotten the fact that uh, the trade tariffs uh, certainly will cause concerns going forward. They've certainly forgotten the fact that Italian, obviously, election uncertainty is risk off. And they've also forgotten the fact that uh, we've also have concerns regarding the uh, situation uh, in the UK with regards to this Brexit mess. Okay, so looks like the markets certainly have uh, gone into, uh, uh, should we say, forgetfulness, a state of forgetfulness. And it certainly seems like QE or the so-called um, buy the dip mentality is certainly remaining supreme, especially with regards to the German DAX. I mean, it's reversed almost five to 600 points, especially given the potential uncertainty there going forward with regards to that coalition. Either way, it's a status quo. We have to deal with it and we have to trade accordingly. The decay is surging overnight, 1.8%. Hang Seng, Shanghai, both up 2%, 1% respectively. Uh, US markets certainly shaking off the week. Bearish news as well. The Dow, the Dow up 340 points. The S&P up 30 points. So this, these are becoming normal moves now on the S&P. 30-point rally either way. So impressive. Very, very impressive to say the least. In terms of economic numbers and uh, this morning, let's just have a look in terms of Europe. Just quickly go through that with you. Uh, in terms of numbers this morning um, for Tuesday, uh, I think we had retail sales for the UK certainly higher than expected. Overnight, nothing really of any major importance. Okay, we have had uh, German construction data certainly coming in weaker than expected this morning. So again, that's certainly something to uh, to contemplate over as well. Uh, let's have a look. German market uh, construction PMI coming in lower than expected. Swedish industrial production coming in better than expected. Uh, EU plans vague trade deal offer and blow to UK hopes. So again, that certainly is no risk negative. Uh, other than that, in terms of uh, UK uh, Feb uh, sales, February sales certainly stronger than expected. Uh, okay, so it looks like yesterday's uh, comments with regards to Mr. Leitzinger, steel exclusions possible if new NAFTA is reached. Republicans, US Representative Walker, chairman of the largest group of conservatives in Congress, says Trump and admin should reject tariffs, saying they would weaken US economy. So that, so the market's certainly short squeezing on that. US President Trump is very confident US could win trade war. That's not the goal. Okay, so obviously that's not the goal. So it seems like the uh, Mr. Trump certainly is uh, pulling back his comments, and that certainly has triggered a short squeeze. Either way, let's uh, let's just deal with the status quo in terms of the German DAX. I mean, what a move! What a move! Now, over uh, overnight, I think the German DAX was sub uh, 10,800. It was around 10, uh, 11, 700. And uh, given the fact that we've had this monster move now, look at the uh, retracement here, fib high to fib low. Uh, we retraced 50% thus far, okay, on the daily chart. 60 minute chart as well, very, very impressive. We are into previous support equals resistance, so back into that key resistance zone at fib 61%. Certainly seems to be a pivot high 12,250. But never having said that, though, the, um, the low here, let's just have a look. Okay, let's have a look here. Bear with me. Okay. Let's have a look. Okay, right, no worries, let's have a look here. So in terms of the 60-minute chart, again, looking for a potential reversal here, looking for weakness on the German DAX into that FIB 61%. Uh, we have that unfilled gap below, so watch out for that gap below at uh, 12,090. Certainly looking for that gap to close given the uncertainty. Previous resistance equals support, so around the 11,970 zone. It's been a monster move, uh, and this is exactly this market. It's certainly pure emotions at the moment, okay? 10-minute chart certainly coming into resistance now, looking for that gap to close at 12,090 on the downside so watch out for that potential move lower folks okay on the downside in terms of the french cac again this is an impressive move on the french cac as well uh, okay so uh in terms of the 60 minute chart let's just go to the daily first and foremost let's see exactly where we're trading there from my perspective the german the french cac certainly wants to close that gap around the 5030 that's basically what we're targeting but having said that there are gaps above uh you've got a gap here uh, obviously that gap's closed now so you've got resistance at 5360 Gap fill around 5320. Okay, so watch out for gap fill there. Okay, and then we've got a gap fill obviously down here around the 5260 uh, zone. Okay, let's see if we can close that gap. Having said that, there is potential move for further on the French cat given the unfilled gap below at 5030, and then support is seen at 5000 as well. Now, again, it certainly seems like the uh, German coalition uh, concerns certainly have uh, abated for somewhat for now, and let's see how the market unfolds going forward. Okay. Nevertheless, that's something that we're going to keep an eye out for. Okay, let's just put this diagonal trend line in. 
taking that pivot high connecting to this pivot high okay so looking for weakness there watch out folks below okay in terms of the 10 minute chart then on the french car let's see exactly where we are uh let's just draw our key trend lines and just clean this up for a bit as well okay so you've got gap fill here previous support equals resistance here and here okay uh, we do have a key resistance zone around this region here that's quite important okay uh, obviously you've got gap fill below we've broken up that key resistance watch out there support is seen below and support is seen below here so it does look like we had some sort of inverted head and shoulders formation play out okay so that's certainly let's just see what the inverted head and shoulders target on that is let's have a look here uh yeah yeah caramba 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 so you've got the left shoulder here okay you've got the head here and the right shoulder obviously it was formed here and we ripped higher very impressive to say the least okay so any potential retracement now will be a buying opportunity for me on the french cac okay especially given the fact that the the ripped high quite impressively okay so uh, let's just work this out for you folks in real time IHS target you're looking at the uh, head which is around the 5160 zone minus the neck um, or should we say the neckline minus the head so you're looking at a 5120 uh, which equals 5200 that's basically where we are 5160 minus 5120 um, yep perfectly fine I'm happy with that okay looking for that potential zone obviously we've hit 5 to 10 so far okay so the IHS target certainly has been hit and therefore one would expect obviously a retracement here so watch out below folks okay looking for that gap to close having said that you've got support down here at the 5190 zone okay and then subsequently you've got previous resistance equal support of 5176 and then eventually you've got support of 5160 so let's see how that unfolds as well okay so certainly looking for weakness at this juncture with regards to the French cat. I'm gonna save that and I can tweet that out, okay? All right, moving on, FTSE 100, folks. Let's have a look what's happening here. Now, this is an index, certainly has puzzled me this morning. I went short around the 5160. It's broken through that bearish engulfing candle. So again, one would expect a potential short squeeze, so bear that in mind. Daily chart certainly putting in a double bottom around the 5070. 60 minute chart, at the moment you are into that resistance where previous support equals resistance. So again, one would expect a potential retracement now. Uh, you are looking to retrace if you do retrace any retracement really will be a buying opportunity for me uh, certainly will be a bull flag scenario looking for a potential move higher so watch out there in terms of previous resistance equal support 7 100 that's one ahead of a monster move nevertheless okay very very impressive on the FTSE 100 there 10 minute chart again we're just consolidating after closing that gap around the 5 uh, 7175 very impressive we've got an unfilled gap below at 7117 though so just bear that in mind uh, for now obviously you've got resistance in this zone here 7200 okay so again it looks like it's consolidating from my perspective it certainly needs to close that gap below isn't justified this move higher from my perspective certainly looking for a for a potential uh, week of certainly uh, looking for a sell-off consolidation and then looking for a higher low so that's basically what we should well i certainly will be looking for so that pivot high low so looking around 7140 7150 ideally gap fill that would be an ideal opportunity to go along on the FTSE 100, okay? Given the fact that it's shaken off trade tariff concerns, shaken off Italian concerns, shaken off Brexit concerns as well, which is very impressive to say the least, okay? Okay, so I think that's the summation really of European indices. I'm going to leave the Euro stocks for now. Please be sure to visit trade signal signals and market updates from leading providers. Take care. Goodbye.